Hey everyone, pretty important update to my statistical stretch script. Welcome to SETI Astro. Everybody's familiar with linked and unlinked STFs. So if we just run an unlinked STF here on this RGB image uh, that's not been color calibrated, we get a result. It's not a, a perfect calibration, right? But at least we can see what's going on. Now, if we run a linked STF, it's just a it's just a big awful mess, and, I, and I'm sure everybody's very familiar with that. So, in situations where you can't color calibrate, uh, I've incorporated that now into my statistical stretch script. So let's take a look at that. So here's my script up now, and now I have an option for linked stretch. As you can see in the preview, it's that same nasty green that uh, STF was shown over there. And then if we click to unlink it, now in the preview it is the, the unlinked stretch. And it is utilizing my statistical stretch algorithm and not the STF algorithm. Sasha from View Into Space had a great point that a lot of time people will combine the SHO channels together to run Blur Exterminator prior to stretching. So then we would need a, an unlinked stretch in order to uh, stretch the image properly. Here is my Lion Nebula. I have it just with an STF on, one in the linked stretch mode and one in the unlinked stretch mode. So let's go ahead and open up my script and uh, let's, let's go ahead and run it. And as you can see in the linked mode, it gives me the, the big nasty blue that it was showing over there for STF. And then if we just unclick the linked stretch, it's gonna perform the unlinked statistical stretch in the preview for us. And there's the color balance uh, that it came up with there. So now we can go ahead and just uh, just run it And it's done. And the other thing that I have coded in the script to do is uh, turn STF off as well. As you can see in the console, it says STF has been disabled. A lot of time people will have STF on, run the statistical stretch, and then they're left with a big white image. And uh, this automatically just turns your STF off. Just a little quality of life update as well in version 1.4 here. And now that an unlinked stretch has been applied, you can go ahead and use things like Bill Blanchin's narrow band normalization just to, uh, you know, start getting you where you need it to go. And then you have a really great uh, jumping off point to do a bunch of selective color changes and uh, manipulate your image artistically how you would uh, normally want to do. Last thing I want to show is why you don't want to run an unlinked stretch after you've already done your color calibration though. So here's uh, two images, they're a clone. All I did was run SPCC on them. They are still in their linear state. Uh, STF just overstretches the heck out of it as, uh, as everybody's familiar when you're in these starless, uh, noiseless images. So let's go ahead and run my statistical stretch in a linked fashion and an unlinked fashion. So we're going to just run it in the linked mode first. I'll tell it to execute. We'll run it on the uh, right hand image. And then we'll go ahead and flip over to the left hand image here same settings, all I'm going to do is uncheck the link stretch parameter. And run it. And 
And now you should be able to see that on the left there is more of a, a green cast and a, a, and a graying out of colors, whereas on the, on the right, the color balance from SPCC has been preserved. So that is the, the risk. You want to be running a linked stretch when you're supposed to, and an unlinked stretch only when uh, the data hasn't already been color calibrated, especially on some of those narrow band cases or situations where SPCC fails and uh, you're having a hard time color calibrating it by any other means. I hope you guys like the update and you get more use out of it. I really appreciate all the feedback and comments and suggestions for it as we try to make this script the, the best little script we can make it. Please comment, like, and subscribe.